Unfortunately, nobody can be told what the truth is. You have to see it for yourself. So which will it be? You press the blue button and you wake up in your bed and you believe what you want to believe. Oh, that sounds pretty good to be honest. Or you press the red button and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. I reckon I'll go with option one. <laughs> <laughs> Look, for the sake of the story, could you please just press the red button? Why give me the option then? Huh? Recently, when it comes to media, it's become a lot more difficult to know what's real and what isn't. Why? AI. That rhymed. AI stands for artificial intelligence, which is basically the science of making software that can think like us, humans. And right now, loads of people are working on different sorts of AI programs right across the world that can process huge amounts of information at incredible speeds that far surpass what our human brains are capable of. You think you're a quick learner, Ren? Yeah, yeah I'd say. Meet AI. Every day, they're getting smarter and becoming much better at writing essays, imitating human voices, and creating lifelike videos. Fresh pasta on this is what AI videos looked like a year ago. This is what they look like today. Meow, meow, meow. While fake videos like these might seem pretty harmless, things get dangerous when real people and politics come into play. Take, for example, the upcoming US presidential election. This AI-generated campaign video of presidential candidate Kamala Harris went viral recently. So if you criticize anything I say, you're both sexist and racist. Sounds a lot like her, right? But it's not. A bunch of AI videos and photographs made their way around social media following hurricanes Helene and Milton. Then you have these AI-generated images of women wearing Swifties for Trump t-shirts. Yeah, the people you're looking at don't exist. And it goes the other way too. Just recently, Donald Trump falsely accused Vice President Kamala Harris of using AI to fabricate images of the crowd sizes at her rallies, when there was no evidence of that. And it's not just the US. This kind of thing is also happening in other countries, including Australia. AI generation has something of quite an adverse impact on our democratic processes, uh, particularly around how we come to know things about how we uh, read and understand and believe in things. If I don't know what's real, how am I supposed to know who to vote for? Exactly! You're starting to understand the power of AI, Ren. But AI isn't just being used to influence elections. It's impacting ordinary people too. Wow. Thanks to deepfake technology, which can put anyone's voice or face onto anyone's body not Morgan Freeman. and make them say or do anything, or at least appear that way. And the scary thing is, it's getting easier and more realistic all the time. I would just be really, really careful about what you put online. What is real, Ren, when any image, any video, any audio, anything you read online can be fake? There's no more reality! Bummer. The good thing is, experts, tech companies and governments know this is a problem and are working on technology and laws that will help us authenticate photos, videos and voice recordings. In the meantime, there are some tips and tricks you can learn to help sort fact from fiction. Want to know how to spot the truth? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Number one, look at the hands. At least for now, AI isn't great at replicating some parts of the human body. So, the hands have a lot of different configurations. You might see that they have sprouted extra fingers, or they kind of overlap on each other, or the fingernails are in the wrong place. Number two, look closer. If, for example, the fabrics don't make sense, or also, things in the foreground tend to be much better rendered than things in the background. Sometimes they will uh, be missing uh, certain features. No. Number three. Question. Does what I'm looking at actually make sense? No. 
Before you react to something, ask yourself, is anyone else talking about this that isn't just talking about this one image? If you see an image and it's showing you like a major weather event or a particular news event, simply do a bit more searching. See if anyone else is talking about these things. All right, Ren, you've been given the tools you need to see the truth for yourself. Use them while... I give up. I give up. I give up.